guys so today we're going to discuss about heating and cooling naphthalene uh, so we started with the heating first so this is the apparatus for heating naphthalene as you can see there a uh, thermometer which is a little bit bent I'm um, sorry <laughs> Okay, so there's a naphthalene in the test tube there, and there also the water, bath water here. Okay, so here is the apparatus for heating naphthalene. What I want to uh, stress here is the importance of water bath. There are two importance of water bath, which is to ensure uniform heating and for direct heating to naphthalene so that the naphthalene can decompose the naphthalene inside the test tube should be stirred so that the substance can be heated evenly this is the heating curve of naphthalene so basically this, there's a x-axis here which is time and y-axis here is temperature we started to discuss from A to B first. So from A to B here, it exists in solid state. And as we can see, the temperature here is increases because it is, as the time increase, then the temperature increases. And we should know that when uh, the substance is heated, then the particles absorb heat energy and vibrate faster because the kinetic energy also increases so we discuss from B to C so from B to C you can see there's a uh, no changes in uh, temperature which is constant so why uh, at this point is constant so you can see here at the red one I put it in the red it is a melting point because at this point B to C there's a melting occurs so why there's no changes in temperature because the heat energy absorbed by the particles is used to overcome the attraction force between particles until solid changes to liquid so at this state at point B to C the state exists is changes from solid to liquid so it is not solid it is not liquid yet but it is the changes from solid to liquid so the last one is point c to d as usual we can see uh, the temperature increases as the time increase uh, and then at this point yes it exists in liquid state because at this point A to B is solid B to C is changes from solid to liquid then at C to D it was liquid so when heated the particles absorb heat and move faster because you know the arrangement of the liquid is was uh, separated but not closely packed like solid so that's why uh, the particles move faster compared to point A and to B next we look at the cooling curve of naphthalene so basically I'm so sorry I'm really bad at drawing so we look at the cooling naphthalene here so the apparatus should be the retard stand here this is the retard stand and the conical flask and the liquid of naphthalene inside the test tube and also the thermometer oh no i'm sorry is it uh, this is the boiling tube okay so i want to stress about the function of the conical flask first the function of the conical flask is to reduce the interference from wind outside the test tube. As you can see, 
it blocks out the wind from the outside and next to ensure uniform cooling because the air trap in the conical flask can act as a um, poor conductor of heat next as usual the substance also need to be stirred to ensure uniform cooling as usual and if if the conical flask is not used and the substance is not stirred super cooling may happen super cooling which means your graph will be like yeah i will show you next this is the curve of cooling naphthalene so we started from point a to b so from point a to b we can see that the temperature decreases as the time increase why because when it is cool the particle release heat and move slower due to the loss of kinetic energy and at this point it is exists in liquid state from point b to c we can see there's a constant uh, in temperature because at this point freezing occurs and you can see i put in the red here it is a freezing point so there's no increasing nor decreasing in temperature because heat energy that is lost uh, to surrounding is balanced by heat energy release when the particles attract each other to form solid which means that at this point it is the changes from liquid to solid so that's why we call the freezing point the last one is from point um, C to D we can see that the temperature decreases and at this point it exists in solid state and um, when it is cool the particles release heat and vibrate slower because it wants to form a solid so it should be vibrate slower so because they want the particles are going to be closely packed so it will be vibrated at its own um, place yeah at its own place <laughs> okay so uh, we move to the uh, what I want to show you the super cooling curves this is the last one which is the curve of the super cooling yeah so the super cooling is the cooling of a liquid to below its freezing point but keeping it in a liquid state so at this point it's still liquid then it goes up again and it undergoes the changes from liquid to solid here. So the possible is it can cause uh, there's no solid solid can form because it lacks of solid particles. So it can form crystal here. So that's what supercooling do. So um, to avoid supercooling, use conical flask and also stir the naphthalene while cooling okay so that's the ending of this video thank you for watching